Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for checking out Lloyd Living. Today, we're gonna show you how to season your cast iron pots and pans. Um, it's really simple to do, so let's just get to it. All right, so we have a couple of new items here. I got a large cast iron skillet, and I got a large cast iron wok. But before I cook with these, I wanna make sure they're seasoned. Um, Seasoning helps uh, the cast iron create like a non-stick surface. It also helps it uh, stay maintained, keeps it from getting rusty. So you wanna season your stuff. If you have older um, cast iron pots and pans and you wanna re-season them, all you have to do is clean them really well with hot soapy water, dry them off, and then you'll be able to start with this process. All right, let's talk about what you're gonna need to be able to season your cast iron. First thing you're gonna need is your cast iron whatever. You're going to have a lot of paper towels. You're going to want to have something that you can lift a hot Dutch oven with. I have here a very nice oven mitt. And then finally you're going to want something that you can season the, the pot with. I'm going to be using vegetable shortening. You can use olive oil, you can use vegetable oil. The only thing we don't want you to use is margarine or butter. It will be bad for you, bad for the pot. Don't do it. Now you'll notice we're outside, and the reason that we're outside is because we're going to do this in our barbecue. Sometimes during this process, it can create a lot of smoke because we're going to heat up the utensil, oil it, put it back into the oven, and it'll, it can be a smoky process, especially if you're using an older Dutch oven. So I have my barbecue here, and it is warming up. We're going to get it heated up to 350 degrees. That's a nice temperature. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our wok and our skillet into the barbecue, and we're just gonna heat it up. We wanna get it hot enough that we could probably still take it out by hand, um, but it's right there on the edge. We just wanna warm it up, it opens up all the pores. So let's do that first. Now that we got it in, we're just gonna close it up just for a couple minutes, maybe four or five minutes. So the um, frying pan has been in the barbecue for just a couple of minutes. It's warm to the touch. Let's pull it out. So now that it's out, we're gonna season it with our shortening. We're just gonna scoop a little bit out put it into the hot pan, and once it's melted, we'll use paper towels to move it around so that we create um, a nice thin layer of, of shortening in there. We wanna do the top and the bottom, do the entire surface. So that's it, we've seasoned the cast iron with the shortening. Now we're gonna pop it in the barbecue at 350 degrees for one full hour. And now we wait. All right, so it's been an hour. Let's open these things up and uh, see how they look. All right, that's it. So you can see they look dry, they look good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, do a second coating. We wanna coat these again while they're still warm and then put them back into the barbecue for another hour. Okay, another hour is gone, and now it's time to pull our cast iron out of the barbecue. Make sure you got on your protection so you don't burn your hands, because these pans are smoking hot. All right, there we go, all done. These babies are seasoned and ready to be cooked on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's super simple to do, and uh, now we gotta go and make something yummy to eat with it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.